Hey guys, it's Haley from thecountryhomemaker.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you all about how I do my meal plan, monthly meal plans. Um, first off, I made these meal cards about a year ago or so, maybe two years ago, and all I did was I just tagged a bunch of stuff that we like to eat and on some of the backs of them I put what we need for that certain meal. Um, so like I know what ingredients that I need um, for whatever meal really quickly um, that way I can look but I pretty much know my menu now or my, know my ingredients now so we go through the beginning of each month before the shopping trip before the list is made and everybody just picks out what they would like um, so this is about how many I done and I have a big stack and I have a stack of the um, side items too if we need help I kind of just keep a list so we go through and everybody just picks them out then I take a blank um, calendar and I will leave the link to this printable in the blog post um, this one's just blank it's got this little note section so you can keep track of other little things you need to write down about it and I just take my cards and I fill it in um, and I try to fill it in with an idea of how I want it and then I kind of go back and move things around as needed so I fill it out and I had a rough draft one and it's got lost somewhere um, but I fill it in and then I shade in or I'll just like mark a color on it so that I know what color um, meat it is and um, then from there I, I redo it so on this one I have um, chicken is blue ground beef is red other beef because we do like beef stew or cube beef cube steak um, even like Philly cheese steaks those are if it's beef and it's not ground beef then um, it's like this weird I actually just take and I just I color it in lighter and then outline it darker um, and then the yellow is seafood orange is pork and that goes for ham hot dogs um, uh, pork tenderloin anything like that and then the other meats will be um, the dark blue I think that's yeah it's dark blue so like pepperoni for pizza or whatever and this one it was like homemade pizza and we did half chicken and half um, pepperoni is what we always do so it's half and half that day so I only like, I like take out like three chicken tenders for our um, for our uh, pizza okay so once I know what I um, what I want where I want it I take and um, I, once I get my rough draft I look at my blank menu my final menu and for each Monday and then like Wednesdays and then Sundays where we're busy we're gone we're at church on Monday nights my husband has um, fire department meetings so those nights I try to make it so it's really easy and quick and even if it's a freezer meal or, um, or I've, I've cooked the meat before a lot of times I cook all the ground beef for the month ahead of time or the, all the ground uh, the chicken I bull it if it needs um, if I have so many casseroles or whatever I bull it in the crock pot or whatever and um, that way it's ready to go um, so those meals might seem difficult but they're still easy and then from there um, I also have green shaded and some of them and not all of these have green shaded but they need to be some of them do but that just means it's fresh produce and so I try to go at the beginning of every week or two weeks depending on what I'm buying and purchase all of the salad lettuce tomato um, is typically what we got to get um, to re replenish what we already have um, potatoes onions um, things like that stay in date and then recently I used to buy the fresh broccoli because I was buying the um, green giant 
frozen broccoli and it was really good and we loved it but we were paying like three dollars a bag for it and um our store didn't have a big selection so we just bought fresh and i recently found the little boxes of the store brand frozen broccoli and we really like it so it's cut down a lot on our um grocery trips because we eat broccoli a lot um and then the other vegetables corn potatoes um beans green beans um a lot of stuff like that we have here that we've canned um, from our garden so we don't have to do a whole lot squash and zucchini we, we got those too so that is basically how I do it um, I try to separate so we're not eating the same meat um, every night so we won't we don't do chicken 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 or um, ground beef ground beef chicken ground beef ground beef chicken I try to make it to where we have something different that we haven't had in a while each week I try to make it um, the little blue dots and I have a bunch more I have one one a week one per week um, we have uh, like a Italian like a red sauce meal so we have lasagna excuse me we have lasagna and chicken parmesan pizza spaghetti and then we have a lasagna again um, so that way, because I would get in a rut where I want um, spaghetti and then I want lasagna and then I want chicken parmesan and I would just eat it, eat it, eat it. So um, so I have to keep it separated so that we're not eating so many, like the same thing kind of pretty much because I would eat that all the time. Um, another thing is the lasagna that I made up here, I actually, um, the lasagna I make is really thick and it's really heavy. It weighs 10 and a half pounds when I'm done with it. And so I always cut it in half and we always have, if I have half of a nine by 13 pan, we eat it for dinner and lunch and have some leftover typically because it's just so thick and heavy and dense. Um, it fills you up really easy. So I have half, the other half of the one we ate here um, that we're gonna eat here I have it in the freezer and all I gotta do is warm it up and I actually cut it into um, portions but then stick it in a freezer bag um, whole so if I want the whole thing I can pull it out but if I just need to grab a piece for somebody's lunch I can just grab a piece <clears throat> so another thing what is it our shopping list so once I have this idea done I take and I have my husband or somebody read out each meal to me and I write mm, yeah this is really my chicken scratch because it's it's the one I've actually used but I have my meat that I need for the month my pantry uh, fresh produce that I need to get and dairy and then things that I need to check in my pantry to see if we have so um, I tally how many, like I'll just mark it if I need ground beef that night, I'll mark it if I have chicken that night, and then um, pantry if it has a star beside it, that means it's perishable, like if we need hamburger buns, I'm not, at the end of the month, I'm not going to buy them at the beginning of the month, so I put a star on it to make sure that I only get it for that certain week, or um, that I, when I purchase them, that they're good that week, and I just take a picture of this, um, and have it on my phone that way if I need to look and see um, is there anything that I need to get while I'm in town that way I can grab it and um, or my husband can get it and I don't have to take all the kids to get a pack of hamburger buns um, and then our produce and we can we have a food saver so we that saves us a lot of money um, using the um, food saver and keeping our vegetables and stuff fresh then down here with my checks my chicken scratch I just have like I know that I have one I knew that I have one rice pilaf box but I needed two for the month so I just needed to check to see if I had two or if I'd really just have one and I ended up having to buy one so for this month <clears throat> um we had everything that we wanted to eat. I don't know if you can see. 
what we had. But we ate good. We're eating good. This is the current month we're in. Um, there's a few nuts, the really simple nuts like sloppy joes, sub sandwiches, um, the BLTs with chips, and and just whatever whatever meals. <laughs> um, there's a few of those, but um, even those like the BLTs, it costs as much to do BLTs as it does for me to make a chicken casserole, if not a little bit more. So, um, but. Um, just to switch it up and so that we're not eating the same thing every every month um, and I always hang on to these I have a stack of them somewhere but I have a um, I always hang on to these that way I can go and look back at our months and see kind of how I laid out a certain few meals and um, or if we try a recipe because there's a couple in here that I'm trying or that we're trying that are new and they'll probably be added because they're really good recipes. I don't see us not liking them. But I'll probably add them into our other ones. Um, into our meal cards. Um, so that's that. And I also forgot to mention. At, when I first get my calendar. I mark off. I write all the days in. And then days that we are gone. Holidays. And days that we will be doing something else for supper. So like here we have the Super Bowl. And then Valentine's Day. And... Um, I know that those meals will be taken care of with other money. They're not in my budget. Um, regardless of what we do, we normally, even if we cook at home, um, we normally spend more on these days. So that's not budgeted in, and it's special money, and it's a special circumstance. Um, so we've, we've done parties, and I think we're getting pizza this year. Um, and then Valentine's Day we don't usually go out Valentine's Day day but I usually have enough this is the last day of my budget the 14th because we we redo it on the 15th and I don't have to budget for these days down here so that's the last day it being the 14th it just happens to fall there so even if we do cook at home um, we will have I'm sure we'll have something to eat um, there was a couple meals where the, we had snow this past week and there was a couple meals that we actually didn't fix, haven't fixed yet because we were actually gone um, eating meals with friends um, that were snowed in. So we didn't have to have our um, full menu this weekend. So that's that. Um, on the side, I do list like things we have for breakfast and lunch and snacks that are in the house and I usually keep these and then we really have too many right now so um, I'm not worried about buying them I don't have to buy them often um, we have cereal oatmeal grits eggs toast peanut butter and jelly sandwiches we always have leftovers usually um, sandwiches and we do bean and cheese wraps tuna um, fruit cups uh, try to buy fruit when we can um, but we have the fruit cups and then we go to Sam's and we kind of get the junkier stuff like animal crackers and we just happen to get cheese puffs this time and I just take them and I put them in individual snack bags that way they can grab them really easy because I'm not I hate listening to fights about snacks or so-and-so has too many and um, this way they can get a bag in the morning and then if by the, they have all day to eat on it and once it's gone it's gone so that's kind of our snack theme right now and I've been in the bacon mood I guess because I didn't bake a lot on um, I didn't bake a lot through the holidays uh, we were just really busy and I had the baby and um, I had a lot going on so I guess I'm in my baking mood and I have been baking or making some kind of dessert every night. So, um, which is usually um, because we're, we always have like peanut butter and stuff and I just make, I make all kinds of peanut butter cookies and chocolate chip cookies and, and M&M cookies. And, &M cookies and <laughs> we have just been eating. That's kind of been our evening snack. So, um, we don't typically do that and we, we are very fortunate this month um, when I did my initial grocery list what you see here 
um, I got everything but the ground beef from a particular store and it was $135 for the whole month and now that's not including the things that I have here but that was everything that was tortilla chips that was hamburger buns that was pizza dough that was meat shrimp um, steakums Doritos Mom, I got like six or seven boxes of different Mom, noodles um, lots and lots and lots of stuff so um, two things a little ricotta cheese and I got had to get butter this month and so just a lot and they were like shocked whenever they told I told them that it was for a whole month um, but that's it and that is um, our um, meal plan how we do it and we love it and it saves us money and it saves our food and we're not wasting food and I don't have to argue with anybody about what we're eating so that's what I love about it so I hope that you have um, found this video informative and I, if you have any questions let me know and like I said I will put any printables that I can um, in the in the um, blog post I won't put them in the link to on YouTube they don't like that but I will put it in the blog post back on my blog so have a good day thanks